What's going on everybody? It's Charles. It's autocross day. We are here at Cary Town Center. Time to get the car ready, do a course walk, and have a little fun. Got our new numbers. Excited about that. Very pretty numbers. And it's not a very good job that I did on this. A couple of different things from the last time I ran this car. New tires, uh, those other tires I was running were beat. These are RE71Rs. As you can see, the rocks are already stuck to them just driving here. So hopefully that's extra grippity grip. Also going back to factory pads and rotors all the way around the car should be better already just on the drive here. The initial bite is insane. It's way better than uh, and the other pad setup that I was running, pad and rotor setup. So should be a little different the first run, probably take it really easy. I'm gonna drop the tire pressure a little bit. I think we're set at 35. I'm gonna drop them down to 33. That seems to be the best use of the sidewall of the tires. If I were a better vehicle owner, I'd have a tire pressure gauge, I guess, huh? Nailed it. Aw. I'm gonna just double check the torque of the wheels. Sounds like it's gonna be super loud running today. Sweet. Good morning. So I think we got everything set, tire pressure set, wheels retorqued, everybody's happy under the hood, numbers are on, Welcome. helmets She's ready, they're gonna come do a car. tech inspection on the car. I think it's time to uh, go do a course walk. Let's do it. Now the reason we wanna do this course walk is seeing all these cones can actually be kind of confusing. Autocross is a dance, not a fight. It's got to be smooth, okay? First run, not too bad, not all in. I think we got some heat in the tires, so uh, second run should be better. Consistent. You got me by two hundreds. Don't count this one, that's dyslexic. That's the best run, the middle I got one. 533. That last run I had was Nice. So that's three runs, pretty consistent. This is a dyslexic number right here.
So first failure on the R32, uh, running it on autocross. Last run, best run of the day, came to a hard stop on, uh, at the end after the, the run was over. Felt something weird in the steering, so kind of limped it back over here to the uh, paddock area. And let's see if we can get down there and look at what, uh, what I found. So, so if we look back in the control arm, the front of that polyurethane bushing is actually missing. I lost part of the bushing. You see the hole right there. There should be a purple bushing in there. Right, so that's it. It's been an awesome day. Uh, the Golf R did amazing. Unfortunately, we had some breakage on the R32, so I'll have to get over to the shop and see just what of that bushing actually failed. So I guess the plus note is it was close to home course and uh, it wasn't super far to get it towed, but now we get another repair we get to do. I had the R32 towed over to the dealership that I used to work at because they were much closer than my house. They got it up in the air for me and the belly pan off. Let's take a look and see just how bad this is. This is the side where the bushing is completely gone. Right there, there should be another section of purple just like there is here at the back. You can see this bushing side is totally missing. Let's see what the other side looks like. There's our bolt, you can see our torque line, everything looks good there, but look at the bushing. It's half gone, half gone. Look at that, just completely, completely destroyed. Those are coming out, something else is going in. What that is, I just don't know quite yet. So with that, I'm out guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.